to Diamond Express Diamond Painting Studio. Today we're going to look at some ideas on what to do with leftover diamonds. I recently ordered a really cool tool off of Amazon and I went to Ross and picked up a few items. It should be a lot of fun. So hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and let's get started on this cool project. I gotta tell you, Ross Dress for Less is probably the coolest store in the world. So this is a salt and pepper shaker. Uh, $3.99. Okay. Look at that. Salt. Pepper. So we are going to take our leftover diamonds and we are going to fill up our salt and pepper shakers and we're going to just I'm, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to separate my diamonds into different colors like a uh, a blue band right so we just put all the blues over on one side all the light colored ones over here browns over there reds Anything that looks red, you know, red and purple. Over on this side, you can do this fairly quickly. Uh, blues. Looks like blues are going to be up there. Blues, dark colors. Up there, light colors down here. The farther you go, the easier it gets. Not so sure what to do with the browns right now. be perfect I mean obviously you just want to get it close for what we're gonna do those look those look brown 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 blue green more blues kind of a purplish greens up there dark colors dark colors Light colors. Okay, greens. This is just to give you an idea of how this works. Close enough for government work, I think, for what I want to do, because in one jar I want to put kind of a red, white, and blue, just because it's a good color combination. So it could be salt or pepper. I'll start with pepper, and we'll just start cutting these things and throwing them in here. Again, most of the stuff you do with with diamond painting is not rocket science, right? Now you could all save your diamonds, right? In case you need them for future projects. But I'll tell you, if you're missing diamond paintings and you got it from us, we will always send you new ones free of charge as quickly as we can. Amber's great about that. We're just going to take these and throw them in there. Look at these little baggies. I don't want to cut these. I, I kind of want to save them. See that? There we go. Get a better 
better angle. some of these just to make this go faster. Take our pinks. So it's going to be a little messy, right? Look at these oranges. These oranges are they're going to stand out. many purples. I guess if I'm going to do purple it ought to be near the bottom. That would make more sense. Because I got to stand up the whole time for the for the camera angle so my back my back does not like this I think you guys can relate but it's all in the name of all in the name of diamond painting right so we can do anything we can get through it look at that this is going to be a nice color And of the reds. Okay. So I'm throwing these. These are kind of red. They're mostly maybe a little brown, but they'll be a good filler. And then some purples. Nobody will nobody will know. That could be red or blue, right? Okay. And now we're gonna put the white ones in. Right. Look where we got a whole bunch of white ones. This is from a diamond painting I got a while ago that we didn't finish. We gave it away and we forgot to give away the beads, I think, which was kind of dumb. It was a guest, and I don't think they ever came back, so and they never asked for them. So I'm gonna now use them. This is coming along nicely. to cutting these bags slower is faster to be honest with you because if you don't cut the top all the way off you just haven't done any good and then they get they get bunched up and you miss you miss the boat like that's two in a row that i've missed on that one on that, light gray, 
anything that's light colored and that is starting to look really really nice I gotta admit I wasn't sure how this was gonna work out but it's, it's starting to look really nice I'm gonna show it to you here at the halfway point so you guys can get fired up about it in there isn't that really cool that is really cool uh, I'm kind of digging that, to be honest with you. So again, filling these filling these things up. And this was a this was a pretty big jar. I didn't think it was going to be this big. I really thought we'd be able to fill it up. But if you can go get a smaller, at the last second, I got a bigger set of these and now I'm kind of regretting it right as we'd be full right now but on this next one we're not going to do this we're going to do something different with the other one and this is probably one of our oh look at that how did I miss that look at these guys right here Okay, that's going to look really good in there. Okay, let's go with the blue ones now. Let's bring blue all the way up to the top. Now the key on this is going to be definitely get these packed in here tight so that they don't move around all over the place because you don't want the jar shifting. You kind of want it. You want it like this because that's the beauty of it, right? Up there. Uh, is that in the middle? Yeah. Yes, I know. I'm doing a horrible job. It's it's a little more difficult than I anticipated standing up for this long and, and leaning over. Uh, just just bear with me. Like most like most stuff, you hear me say this all the time when it comes to diamond painting, not rocket science. Okay. Uh, definitely not rocket science. And most stuff you can you can eyeball and part of the part of the beauty and the magic in this is the fact that it is a little bit unpredictable on how these things are going to fall in and how they're going to how they're going to lay there for some of the neat freaks that might be watching this this is hard to hard to take i completely get that oh look at this okay with some of this turquoise at the top. I think that'll be a good way to go. So, Ross, $3.99 for a jar, okay, for salt and pepper shakers. Take all your old diamonds, sort them, and then pour them into the jar. It's that simple. And you can see, you don't even have to be super neat about it. And you've got a nice craft project for your extra diamonds right there. I'm going to try and keep this the same, near the same color at the top. But we're going to, by the way, some of these are square, some of them are round. Okay. It does not matter. What matters is we're going to have a cool little. Cool. I'm going to try and fill this thing all the way to the top, too. Don't want these things moving around in there. I want to keep them pretty solid. 
and I think we're gonna I think we're gonna be there with the, with this group right here. Okay, so let's come over here. Let's take the lid. Full to the top, and there you have it for your extra diamond paintings. That looks really, really good. And a smaller jar, I think that would look even better. Basically, this video we took three ninety nine uh, salt and pepper shakers from Ross, we took extra diamonds, okay? And we color coordinated them and added them into our shaker to get a red, white, and blue pattern. I hope you guys can see that nicely. There you go. A red, white, and blue pattern. And that'll be a nice decorative piece that can go down in the kitchen, on desk, uh, you know, other places in your house. And I wouldn't twist it around too much. I tried to do it tight, but you can see the diamonds rolling at the top. But it does make a nice decorative piece. And once we get the uh, the salt shaker done, we could do that. We're going to do those with greens and browns and yellows. So that'll be a, a little bit different. So nice, nice tip and technique on what to do with leftover diamonds. Subscribe, like, comment. And let us know what else, uh, what other techniques you do with uh, leftover diamonds. Okay, thank you very much.